Welcome back to Goldwyn Dinner Club. I'm Griff. I'm Parker. And I'm Mario, and he's Luigi. Oh, yeah. All right, you can come back around this time. Okay, here I go. Down. Whew. Up. Up. Oh, man. Right. Oh, God. Right, and here I am. And, oh, I had donut planes for. Let's do it, baby. Oh, it's this level. Okay. Watch out for the yellow Remember, show. I really want my buttons to be flipped. Like, I want... So, flying so high, flying so high. You know what I like high, about the. Uh, so high, free to be me. I know how do you know to. What's, do you know what's best about the yes. Game Boy Advance version? Is they mapped the spin jump to the trigger. Which is what it should be. Go yeah, Loombas. it's so much better. Pa oh. That's nice. Yeah. It's just so nice. I loved it when uh, Mario. I got the three up. I'm going to laugh if I fall down a hole. Oh. My Mario impression is getting like, more and more annoying every time I do it. It's like, it's a me, a Mario! Like, I'm oh, like, oh, did you see team. that shot? That was clutch. That's beautiful. <laughs> oh, that was, that was clutch, bro. That was nar nar. <laughs> I'm just trying to get excited so that people watching this are entertained and they're like, Zoomers Whoa. understand the lingo. We say things like clutch and nar nar. <laughs> <laughs> I one time saw. Oh, dude, Bros. no! Oh, I just I was grinding on a pole and I totally hit my narnars. I saw these. No, that's not what narnar is. I was nar -nar. trying to make a kicked in the balls joke. Well, it didn't work. And it, so narnar. <laughs> so one time I was at the beach and there were these two dude bros, and uh, they one of them turns to the other one. He goes, "Dude, check out this narnar jump." And then he just runs really fast at this really small hole that he dug in the sand, and he misses. He doesn't clear the jump. Oh, man. <laughs> it was not a gnarly jump. And the truth, the truth, ladies and gentlemen, that dude, bro, was Griff. <laughs> he did. It was, it was I who said it to me. It was I. And also the other dude, bro, was Griff. I was alone. You want to see something sad? Yeah. Always. I knew which one it was in. That's <laughs> not sad. No, in. that's not sad. I knew that too. That's not sad. Oh, okay. Well, wait. Just because I know it too doesn't make it not sad. I think it makes it double sad. It just makes it two sad people with sad feelings. Two sad. Oh, I like that. Hold on, real quick. Let me just let me work some. Is, is it like a country sort of ballad, or is it a musical type thing? Two. Uh, sad. yeah. Think like Dolly Parton. Two sad people. <laughs> With two <laughs> sad feelings, like that type of. Yeah. <laughs> like really? the, it would be like I, the she's like sitcom. well she 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 comes out she's done to the nines and she looks fantastic and she's like growing up in the Alabama hills of Miss Alusa, I knew a thing or two about growing up sad and hungry. Some nights my little baby brother didn't have no cornmeal to eat, and so this song is for you, Bubba Bay. <laughs> two sad feelings. <laughs> Oh, I should be ashamed when I laugh at my own stupidity. But I'm not. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. And you're just cr it just cuts to me crying hard with mascara running down my cheeks. <laughs> As I'm listening to her song, I'm like, damn, dude, this is a heartwarming story about her and Bubba Bay not having enough to eat. Get him! Okay, but you won't give me. Oh! Wang, 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 wang. <laughs> pathetic. That's just so pathetic. See you next time. I beat time. a castle, you beat a castle, we're all beating castles. I beat a castle, you beat a castle. Huh? This is a story about my brother, Morton Jun Cooper Jr. We didn't have enough cornmeal to eat. This song's for you, Morton Cooper Jr. <laughs> Kick down the fortress. <laughs> <laughs> the fortress of my dreams. Mama made me a special hat. A lot of songs about Mama making her a special hat. Uh, we believe in Dolly Parton supremacy in this household. Oh, this music. Oh, this is a boom, stone cold jam. Boom, boom, psh, boom. I'm gonna open up a nightclub and this is the music that plays. Bing, bing, bing. 
Stone Cold. Oh, my favorite. Oh. Now, can you do the? Can you do this level without the red blocks? Uh, you need one of the shells. Right. You need a shell, yeah. It's easier to do if you have Yoshi. You can sacrifice him to get up there. You hit. You pop. You pop this thing. You pop the top, right? Oh! Yeah. You absolute fiend! Yeah, he was vibrating. You see that? I I had other concerns. Okay. So this is so you still need the shell. This is tough. You need to get your running jump to the right. Ow! 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 You're done. You're out. You messed it up. There's another there's another flying cape uh, to the left if you want to try again. But I would love to do. It. I mean, we're just we're messing around, man. Why not try? It? I have a feeling you're not gonna get it because the running jump you need to get you need to time it like perfectly. Okay. Two sad Luigi's. All right, where am I going? So, uh, yeah, go through there. All right, it's right above. It's like, yeah, right above that. Oh. One more to the left. That one. Wow. Drop that shell, drop that shell, drop that shell. Oh. Uh, where did the feather go? You took it, and then the shell took it from And you. I went all the way down to small Luigi? Yeah, in this game you go all the way down the small. That's stupid. Change that. Yeah, that's the true. That's true in every Mario game until uh, uh, like the new. Super. I don't think that's true in three. It's totally true. No, because if you lose your suit, you're still Mushroom Mario. Are you really? Yeah. Oh. Although they changed that from the original Japanese version, which would bring you back down all the way small. But I don't like that. That should never be the case. All right, I gave it. I gave it a god's honest try. We're just getting out of here. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Also, another superior Mario Brothers 3 moment. They do somersaults when they have the star, baby. Nothing beats that. That, that is cool. I always thought that was cool. Too sad feeling. I'm going to be on that. Oh, what? Really? Why did you think that was going to work? I don't know. Because I've done it so many times. But I've played. Here's, here's my problem playing this right now. I've played a lot of Mario Maker. And it is not, uh, and it is not the same. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's different for sure. It's like faster and smoother. And, uh, Why? Why would I do back. such a heinous act? Watch out! There. Oh my god! <laughs> and you missed the, the pole. <laughs> I saw you jump right listen, for it, and he still didn't get it. Listen, listen to the, <laughs> listen to the glee in his voice as he heartily chuckles because I didn't uh, okay. perfectly well, yes, play the game. Well, we were playing Mario Bros. Three. I looked like an idiot because the lag was so bad I couldn't even beat the first level of the game. It's just nice. And did I? It's and did nice I? And did I laugh at you, or did I? You did. You yelled at me I, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to that audio over I, and over again when I did the animation. You you yelled at me like what, 18 an, times. An, what, an, you were like, seriously? An, <laughs> an, animation? What are you talking about? When I um I was just watching cartoons. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah, don't, <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't look like anything to me. Oh. I'm not gonna go for the switch. He got owned. That's more lingo for you Zoomers out there. Narnar and owned. I never. What I like about that box is that the item keeps switching Ooh. after you hit the item box, so you still have like a time to change. It's your pretty. Mind. It's pretty funny. It's like oh, it's almost a gag. You know what I mean? It's like oh, you got the item. Nope, still changing. You know, I never liked the word owned like a slang, but it's been around so long that it just is. It's just here now. But I can remember yeah. a, the day it started, and I said, no, I don't yeah. like that. And then they're like, oh, you don't like that? What about pwned? And I'm like, ooh, I like it. Pwned is, pwned is so much more fun, though, because they took all the syllables out. I, oh. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> and you know me, classic syllable hater griff. <laughs> <laughs> syllables are such a waste of time. I think you mean, I think you mean vowel, though. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Well, either way. You're supposed to say it with now. A syllable, a si noises. taking a syllable out would mean that it was originally like ponied. 
and then I, pwned. and then he was pwned by the Lord. Pwned. Oh! I pulled a you. <laughs> pulled a me during Mario Three. <laughs> no, you did this earlier in Mario World. You just fell straight down like a stone. Oh, I did it. I did it on purpose. I didn't want to tell you at the time. I just didn't I want to don't intimidate know you. If that's true. Those two little lanterns on the back wall. This is the one thing about this game, is to find cape really makes the game way too easy. Yeah, it's a done. Like, you can't do that with anything other than a P-Wing, which they were smart in saying, like, we should limit these, so you only have a few. But in Mario World, uh, you could skip most of the bonus world by just flying straight over it. Just buy. Yeah. Not hard. And they give you a way to go back and get the item, so... But I will say... You know, the kids like the term uh, accessibility. I don't think that's what they were thinking of when they did it, but it is cool that, you know, if you don't want to play a certain way, you don't have to. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. I, I like games where you have that kind of freedom. Yeah. And that concludes another episode of Goldwyn Dinner Club. See you tomorrow for more Super Mario World! Join in next time for more Ponage! Goodbye.